Hi everyone, uh, Bess McCarty here with something on my mind wanted to share with you. Something that I've been learning very deeply, a very soulful, deep lesson, is the power of listening. The power that listening has. Uh, I think it's not really understood even by me, but I'm just getting that listening can diffuse a situation we all want to be understood. Hi Margie, I was thinking of you, <laughs> especially around this topic, the power of listening. Isn't it something? Um, it can come from our heart. Hello Lise, welcome. The power of listening is the little short message I wanted to just um, share with you today because it was on my mind. Hi Margie. <laughs> listening is an act of love because we all strive as humans to be understood, to be heard, to be cared about. And I think it's one of the greatest gifts that we can give another person. And I think it was St. Francis who said, seek to understand rather than to be understood. Seek to understand, that's really powerful. Uh, I was in a discussion with someone recently where I saw that we were each striving to be understood so that it, it was impossible to stand in the other person's shoes. And, you know, I kind of laughed at that afterwards and shared that with the person, that that's what we were doing. We were each striving for to share our own viewpoint so strongly that we could not stand in the other one's shoes. And then I, that St. Francis's uh, advice came to me, seek to be understood rather than to be, a, to seek to understand. That is just a huge, huge gift. Hi Lloyd, welcome. And um, yesterday I was watching a Charlie Rose interview with Mr. Rogers and he said something on there that, w that struck me very deeply and it was the essence of what I'm talking about now. And he said that the white space on a page is more important than the words. And he wrote a book. But he said it's the white space in between that he believes is the most important because that is where you get to understand what you've just read. And I think that's what happens when we listen to another person rather than keep speaking and creating more and more words for them. When we just are quiet, it can give them the opportunity to understand what maybe they just said or they just heard. It's a very powerful, subtle, simple, ultra simple tool. But that is what listening does. Linda Duncanson says true listening comes from the heart. It is. It makes space for something bigger to come in and do its love and magic. Linda says, how can you listen from the heart? Well, let's ask everybody that. How can we listen from the heart? Not by listening, thinking, well, I hope they get done real quick so I can say what I'm going to say, <laughs> so I don't lose my thought, train of thought. I hope they get done real quick. That wouldn't be true listening from the heart, would it? But listening from the heart, knowing that that person is enfolded in the magic and the love of life, that they, everyone has their own inner guidance, and that they can access it. Uh, when, I, when, when people tell their troubles to me, I envision uh, that, and I recognize, and I remember, can connect with their own inner guidance and get their own answers. And just that confidence and that joy, uh, I think, is contagious to the person, that their own inner guidance is accessible. And perhaps even a divine answer or help can be given. And I think that just being silent helps to bring that closer for the person, to get their own inner divine connection. Um, Mr. Rogers also said that the greatest gift that he has been given by people is the gift of silence. And I think what he meant was the gift to experience his own silence. You know, not pressing in on him, but the gift to let him have his own silence. But it came to me today that he could have also meant the gift of silence from the other person. Because that creates a beautiful, beautiful space. You know, listening with our full attention, not ignoring them or giving them a cold shoulder or turning away or shutting them out, 
but listening with our full attention to really understand and care who they are, to really be curious as to what they're saying, because it's important to us. I think from the time that we were little kids, and we go down the slide, and Mom's over there on the park bench, and we say, hey, Mom, look at me, look at me, look at me. Or you were running and stomping through the, the, the mud puddle or something like that, hey, look at me, look at me, or see how high I can go in the swing. I think there's still a part of that in all of us that likes to be witnessed, that likes to be validated, that likes to be seen and understood and known. I think that's why we post on Facebook. You know, look at what I did today. Look at what I ate today. <laughs> look at what I realized today, like I'm doing. You know, I'm sharing sharing something. Maybe it will help somebody else, but it also helps me to get what I'm sharing, helps me to get it better, too. So because we post on Facebook, I think we do this all the time. And one of the greatest things I think I can give a friend is to like their post or comment on it or share it because it satisfies something in all of us, doesn't it, as humans, that, oh, somebody noticed what I said, somebody cared about what I said or valued it. Hi, Bubby, glad to, glad to see you. I was just hopping on for just a minute to make a quick little uh, Facebook Live here, but while we're, while we're here, while we're all here, um, Linda, how do you listen from the heart? Margie, how do you? Uh, how does anybody? Do you have any tips, comments, qu uh, suggestions, or feedback about all this? And Lise Davidson says, very true, you can tell if someone is interested in your conversation, if it satisfies you. Wow. If you go by feeling, they're not thinking of something else, thinking of what they can say, um, that they're really present with you, it satisfies you? Mm-hmm. You can tell. That's, I like that a lot. And that's what else Mr. Rogers said in the uh, in the interview is that he focuses completely on the person in front of him and gives them his all. And isn't that all we can do? Isn't that the best that we can do? And so he said, I don't even know how many children I've helped, you know, with my work and my program that ran 30 years, a children's program on public broadcasting system, the largest, the longest running program on it. Uh, and he said, Charlie Rose asked him, how many children do you figure that you've helped? And Mr. Rogers said, I don't know. And I don't care. As I care about just the one in front of me, you know, at, the, at this time, to give him quality attention. And uh, Lee Stevenson says, yes. And hi, Mary Hansen. Uh, we're talking about the power of listening and the power of silence. To have silence for ourselves, <clears throat> to give ourselves space. As Mr. Rogers says, this is a very noisy world. And it's very rare that people encourage or take the time to have some silence. But you know what? That's where the, the divine guidance comes in, the inner guidance comes in. And, and just strictly on a business sense, um, one of my mentors, Allie Brown, says that's when she gets her best business ideas, her most brilliant business ideas, is just when she's quiet. So that silence, I think, is necessary for soul and for love and divine guidance to come in. Because I realize things. In the middle of the night, I'll wake up and realize things and write them down. I know they didn't come from my little brain. You know, I think they came from somewhere else, somewhere beyond me. And that silence, that space, that quietness allowed it to come through. And we can give that to another person with our listening. And so that's my little message for today. Does anyone have a question or comment? Hey, Payman. Glad everybody's here. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to be able to share. Somebody, I saw a video by a friend the other day, and they said, well, get on Facebook Live. What do you talk about? What you've been learning. <laughs> we can share that with each other. Maybe we can shortcut each other's um, um, journey, our personal growth journey, our spiritual growth journey, by sharing what we've realized. And... Uh, you know, grow from each other a lot faster than we could on ourselves. And payment is from Iran. Awesome. Welcome. Anybody else want to write, type in where you're from, where you're listening from? Lise says, so inspirational, Best, Thank you. Thank you all. Whew, powerful. Powerful tip. I mean, I've heard it for years, <laughs> but I'm just getting a deeper level of it lately. Um, mm, it's a gift. If you've ever been truly listened to, isn't that a gift? And isn't that a rare thing? Who has been truly listened to? Maybe put an L in the, in the comments if you've really ever experienced someone truly giving you their 
attention and really getting what you're saying, really standing in your shoes the best that you can. Maybe put an L if anybody's ever experienced that. It is a very rare thing. Hi, Donna. And Lee says you have. Yes, I have too. Mm. It seems that it elicits more um, of something beyond myself when someone listens and that I can uh, let it even more come out. What a gift. Let's see who you can give this gift to today. Let's see who you can listen to today. Give your complete undivided care, curiosity, attention, interest. And really put aside your own agenda for maybe one minute to the best we can. Linda Duncanson says, Silence takes over, like you said. For me, it's when you allow that to enter. It's there, we just have, it's there, we just have to allow it. Wait for the silence. I think it is always there waiting for us, don't you, Linda? I think it, it's there waiting for us just to listen, or just to be, or just to tune in, or just to feel this, you know, bigger love than, something bigger than we are, to feel that, that love of something bigger. Thank you. <laughs> or the like. Okay, that's all I have. Anybody else have um, some wisdom? I can get a little teared up about that. <laughs> Anybody else? I better go before I cry. Anybody else have um, something to say or share or ask about listening, love, silence? Let's give this to ourselves and to other people. It's the divine's chance to contact us, if we're willing. Okay, thank you everybody. Please, thank you. Thank you, Lise. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.